So let me show you what I want you to do then, starting on day four. The first one, you have to follow a regular sleep schedule. You have to go to bed at the same time each night and wake up at the same time each morning. It doesn't matter if your favorite show is on Thursday, right, and that's a later night for you, or if you have an early golf time on Monday. That doesn't matter. You need to look at the next two weeks on your calendar and figure out what a good time is gonna be so that you're getting to bed at the same time each night and waking up at the same time each morning. Okay. Here's the second one. You need to have a bedtime routine. I want a half hour bedtime routine. So you need to build that into your sleep time. If you are always watching the 11 o'clock news and that gets over at 1130, your bedtime is not 11.30 then. It would have to be 12, right? You'd be going to bed at midnight because I want you to have a half hour bedtime routine in there. And here's why. If you had kids, when you put them to bed, right? They're out running and playing and they're getting all dirty and sweaty and everything else. They don't just turn off like that, right? You would take them in, they'd take their showers, they'd brush their teeth, they'd read a book or listen to their music, right? They say their prayers, they go to bed, okay? What do we do as adults? We stay up, we watch NCIS or the evening news, which sometimes is just as scary as one of those crime shows. And then that minute it's over, we go right in, we lay down and we're staring at the ceiling and can't figure out why we're, we can't fall asleep, why we're so wound up. So I want you to take a half hour and do this bedtime routine, something that's relaxing. It's great to take your shower or a bath during this time. It doesn't have to be a cold shower. Your body temperature normally drops at the end of the day, but you can mimic that by taking a nice warm shower because the minute you step out, you're stepping into cooler air. Right? So that's going to help drop that body temperature. Do some gentle stretches. Listen to some relaxing music. Turn the lights down a bit. Okay, you can read a calming book. No Stephen King or anything else that's gonna get you all geared up, but something relaxing. I want it to be a paper book. Okay, no e-readers on this because that's throwing off a blue light, which is mimicking normal light or natural light. Okay, and that keeps you awake. So a half hour where you're doing this nice relaxing routine each night. If it can be the same type of thing each night, that works better because then you're training your mind and your body to make that transition over. Okay. Next, the environment. I want you to keep your bedroom as dark as possible. No night lights. I don't want light coming in from the outside windows. I don't want appliance lights shining in from the kitchen or, or laundry room. We want it as dark as can be in there. Okay. You also want the temperature to be a little bit cooler Okay, not too cold where you're shivering, but where the air is cooler and you're huddled up in those nice warm blankets. We know that people sleep better that way. So if you wanna turn your fan on, your air conditioner, um, just to bring that temperature down a little bit. They recommend with pajamas that the temperature is between 60 and 66 degrees. That's a little too cold for me. So find your individual temperature though where it's coming down a little bit at night, okay? It also has to be quiet in your bedroom. So if you have a noisy dog next door, or if you have a noisy dog in your house that's not barking, but you hear those nails clicking along the floor at night, or if the, your husband or your wife is rolling over or snoring or making noises, um, if you have somebody in the other rooms in the house that's TV's on or they're in the kitchen or something that's distracting, look at blocking that noise. Can you use a white noise machine? Can you get an old oscillating fan that just has that background noise, an air purifier, something that's gonna block those sounds for you, okay? so that it is quiet as possible. Make sure that your bedding is comfortable. You want a good, comfortable mattress for you. If your mattress is 15 years old and it's still the most comfortable thing you've ever slept on, fantastic. If your mattress is a year old and you haven't gotten a good night's sleep since you've gotten it, Time to get a new one.